folks. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Bachelor Park Tour video. It's windy today in so far as the wind is blowing up the hill as you go down. And you'll see that when you see the flags on the jump. But well, you can kind of see all this, this snow blowing here. It's light snow blowing anyway. A little windy, so I'm hoping we're going to get the audio through here. But anyway, look. Mount Bachelor, Bachelor Parks tour video. Look at that wind. Anyway, we still have 60 days left in the season here. I mean, this place not going to close down to the public until the end of May. And you can get what's called a spring pass for like 169 bucks. So I guess that was if you bought it early, you know. But still, the spring pass is a good deal, even if you're only going to be here for like a week or something, you know. So box going down. <laughs> There's big rods. There's another box there. So they formed a wall here instead of a wall on that side. Now this stuff always changes, so yeah, you know. It may not be the same when you show up, but there's a tube. First of the jumps and batch parts right here. Bring it down to the wall. And here they got a wood wall. Bring it on down, lift tower two, lift tower two. Boy, it's a little windy for sure coming down the hill. So we got a flat rail there. A lot of times there's more rails and stuff set up, so it may be a little bit slow now, but so first the two jumps here at the bottom of Pacific City. Got a propane tank right there. Second jump over there. Nice wall, spine style with a tube on the top. You know, you can imagine what you might be able to do there. And hitching post here at the end of Pacific City. So this is Pacific City. It takes a couple laps to show the whole park. So technically this would still be the end of Pacific City here. Huge up box. I mean box going way up with rails on each side there. So that is, as Miley Cyrus would say, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the point. And if you've ever watched any of my tour videos, you'll know my little song. And this is the line they call the point, but you ain't gonna need it to get high, because this line's gonna get you plenty high. So the point line has got your more advanced features in so far as it has the tubes and the rails, you know, that are more advanced, you know, that you need more skill to ride. And then it also has the larger jump at the end of the line. So checking this out. How's that off? What could you do with that? What would you do with the Klondike bar? Well, I don't know. Oh my God, look at this over here. This is nuts. Like, I don't even know how I'm gonna get through here. I wanna get my butt stuffed right here. See, look, now I'm having to waddle up here because I'm totally getting stuck because I don't know how to do this stuff but look at this look at that so big fat lift tower tube sideways narrow tube coming across look at that man that's just nuts I don't know what you can do with that but you know what there are kids up here that do know what they can do with that 
Nice hip over here. Here's the hip trip. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the rails and whatnot, you know, on the point line. Then it comes down to some big jumps. Look at this. We got this propane set up in the side of here because a lot of people do definitely use side of this knuckle is a side jump instead of activity and so hell they just went with the flow and they stuck a propane tank in there so there's the first big jump it's been a little windy so we got debris in the snow but it's been mostly just moss so then we got the second big jump here okay and then this last one you guys is the tabletop and I mean, you, you, there's a lot of clearance you need here. You got to really haul ass right here. Because if you don't haul ass over that tabletop, you are not going to make the landing zone. So then you come down here and they got this sort of, I don't know, some kind of strange sort of half pipey weird kind of deal there. I don't know, whatever the heck it is. But all right, so. Uh, oh, we got some cows. We got some power, we got some power, and a little chunder, but we got some power. Okay, so enough said. Uh, let's go show you the rest of the park tour, which is actually going to take like two laps to get it done, because what we got to show you is Seaside, and we got to show you uh, Get a Beach Line. So, checking out Bachelor Park Tour. Everybody having fun, but there's not much people here today. And I'll tell you what, it's windy for sure. So now we're going to go down to Cannon Beach. This is the bottom of the Pacific City here. Which you guys already saw, but you know, just trying to connect it all together that way. So West Village get back to come across here. This is a cat track where you always got to watch the step and then you enter Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach. Checking out Cannon Beach. Look at this. Flat rail up down. Lift tower tube. Whoa, and we're going down. Yeah, let me go down. Okay. Got a jump, a jump line of three. Jump line of three. Jump line of three. Okay, so there's the jump line of three. Now you see this is where it comes together with the point. But if you stay going this way here, man, it's windy. I hope I hope this audio comes through. Uh, so this is the bottom of Cannon Beach, see? This is basically rail and tube type, you know, features. So you're pretty much done with your, your jump here. Although there's hips, for sure. And up, uh, round rail coming down. Okay, so they had a sea rail here the other day. Now they got a kink rail. To a down rail. Can you see that kink? Let's see. There's a kink to a rail, and this is all set up on a hip, man. That is pretty cool. And there's a hip right over there. Okay. Bringing it down. Now, this is the one I have not figured out how the hell to film the guys when they go over this deal. Because I kind of have to go over it too. But kind of a weird thing but I've seen some guys do some pretty cool stuff there and uh, bringing it down this way a couple of flat rails flat to down small tube just coming on down got the old steel wall over here they actually got a lot of walls but you know they don't bring them all out all the time but it's kind of cool they got this tube set up 
cannon style coming right into this hip. So I don't know, there's kind of a lot of cool things that you could do right there for sure. So okay, we got one more section to show you and that will be Seaside, the seaside line. We got to show you, which is just another small portion. So stand by and we will go show you the seaside line. So this is the chair we ride when we when we go to parks. Yeah, absolutely. And this is one of the lifties. Well, you may or may not the see him. The best one here. But if you get up here spring, you might see Sean right here. You bet. And we like the lifties, the lifties at Sky, because they don't put the pie in your eye. Anyway, yeah, this chair doesn't have the most reliable reputation, but it is the one that runs us to match the park. So we're standing by. See you at the seaside line. Top of Cannon Beach right here. Okay, you guys just saw this stuff. But to make this, you know, congruent or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you're coming down Cannon Beach. Man, it's windy. Instead of going that way, to stay on Cannon Beach, you go this way. And this is Seaside here. Checking this out, kind of on a hip. Up down Lift Tower 2. Don't see too many people hitting that, you know? I gotta tell you. So, and then coming down here, Seaside Line. Got this jump here. Look, I don't even think anybody's hit it all day. But you come over that one right there. Sail it this way, and you got a landing, man. That goes like frickin' forever. Probably one of the longest landings uh, in Bachelor Parks. And uh, so the next one down here is a step over. And if you've ever seen any of my super old videos with my little cam that I had, I still have it, but holy, it's windy. I don't know, maybe you can't even hear me talking. So this is a step up here. Whoa, knuckle shake's a little weird. Well, it used to really be a step up. It's more of a step over now. But this is where I used to come and film a lot. And I would get a lot of action here. I mean, the kids would come down and they would hit this. And it was a step up then. And it's really not, it's not really a step up anymore. It's more of an over for sure. But anyways, okay, seaside line, let's finish it. Look at that, got built these things down here. Let's say we had a little wind, so yeah, that blew step out of the sea. They got these weird things here, man. I don't know what the heck you want to call those things. But they're just like some kind of mountains, you know, that uh, got like kind of weird little flat tops. And I guess you could do all kinds of weird stuff there. Come over here. Now, in the past, they have built some more jumps right down in here, too. But, yeah. Uh, okay, so. Ground rail, flat down. Or, I mean, down flat, you know. Coming over here. Little Jersey barrier dealy on top of this hip. Yes, we are up on a hip. And then this flat rail down. So that's it, folks. Okay, now don't forget, there is a whole nother park uh, over off the Sunrise Chair that's called Short Sands. And Short Sands Park is small. And so the idea being is that is if you're just a little kid starting out, or even if you're not a little kid, you just want to experiment with uh, ride park boxes and rails and jumps and whatnot, you go over to that short sands. Well, I tell you, the wind, man, it's amazing that little bit of wind with the fat suit, boy, it just slow you down to the heartbeat. So anyway, short sands park which i have not filmed this year at all yet but they've done a great job over there at short sands so if you're a beginner you can go ride short sands if you're got it a little more down you come to the main park which we just showed you bachelor parks tour checking out right there there it is there's nobody home today